it going, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and for today's video, we're gonna do another episode in my new series, Memory Lane with Madison. Now, I know some of you loved the name. I read some of your comments. Some of you were not a huge fan, but because overwhelmingly people did love the name Memory Lane with Madison, we're gonna keep this new series, and this new series is where I take a deep dive into either a celebrity couple's past, a celebrity's past, a past celebrity feud. Honestly, just kind of whatever you guys want me to do a deep dive into, that's what I wanna cover in this series. And for today's deep dive and for today's memory lane with Madison, I'm going to be talking about one of the House of Hills most controversial couples, Mr. Justin and Hailey Bieber. Now I say controversial not because I think they're controversial, but just for some reason, anytime I talk about Justin and Hailey Bieber on my channel, the trolls absolutely start coming. I don't know why this happens, but I'm so thankful for all of you here in the House of Hill because you always keep the trolls in check. And you guys know that some days I try to steer away from topics that bring on the trolls because sometimes I just don't have the energy to deal with them. But you know what? I'm feeling a little feisty today, so I figured why not talk about Justin and Hailey Bieber? Plus, their past has a lot of tea, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, even I forgot how much Justin Bieber went between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez in the past. Now, before we start this walk down memory lane, I wanna make one thing clear. This is not a deep dive into Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's past. This is a deep dive into Justin and Hailey Bieber's past. Like I mentioned, of course we're gonna talk about Selena Gomez because she plays a major role in their past, but if I don't mention some specific Selena thing, it's not because I don't know. It's not because I didn't do my research. It's because this is a Justin and Hailey Bieber focused walk down memory lane. Sorry, you guys. I know that us here in the House of Hill are usually all on the same page, but sometimes some specific topics require a little video disclaimer right at the top. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this walk down Bieber memory lane. So our first stop along memory lane brings us to 2009. When Justin and at the time Hailey Baldwin first laid eyes on one another and first met, actually Hailey Hailey's dad was the one who introduced the two and thankfully the interaction is forever caught on video. Hailey clearly was very unenthused with meeting Justin Bieber, which she did later clarify that when she first met Justin in 2009, it was a very early wake up time, hence her lack of enthusiasm for meeting her future husband for the first time. Now our next step along memory lane brings us to 2010, after Justin and Hailey's first meet cue. Now this is when Justin started his very long roller coaster relationship with Selena Gomez. In December of 20. 2010, Justin and Selena had their first date. They went to IHOP, which talk about relatable. Selena Gomez was 18, Justin Bieber was 16, and the two were seen cuddling on this first date, which later Selena Gomez did tell Us Weekly that Justin was just a friend and that they were just having pancakes. Which we know was absolutely a little fib because a month later, aka in January of 2011, Justin and Selena were spotted ringing in the new year in the Caribbean with a kiss. And then one month later in February of 2011, aka the same year I graduated high school, which makes me feel super old, Justin and Selena decided to take their relationship red carpet official. This is also when the term Jelena was born and they made their first couple red carpet debut at the Vanity Fair Oscars after party. Now in the following months of 2011, Hailey Bieber, who was Hailey Baldwin at the time, was even keeping tabs on Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez and their relationship. In May of 2011, she tweeted that she was 100% team Jelena. And then in September of 2011, she tweeted that Justin and Selena were a teenage dream. And then continuing on this walk down memory lane, that brings us to January 2012, when Haley tweeted that Justin and Selena's relationship was perfect. And once again, in February of 2012, when she tweeted about being disappointed that she didn't get to see Justin and Selena's coordinating outfits for that year's Vanity Fair Oscars after party. Okay, side note, and we're gonna take a quick pause on this walk down memory lane. I wanna remind you guys that Haley Bieber did go ahead and deactivate her Twitter last September. She did this after people thought they caught her shading Selena Gomez when she was with her friend Justine Scott. I just wanted to throw that out there and once again make it clear that these Jelena tweets are absolutely in the past. However, unfortunately for Haley, they do live on in those grainy screenshots. Despite fans absolutely living for Justin and Selena's relationship and Haley included, Justin and Selena split for the first time in 2012 thanks to some major trust issues and just being young. Following his first split from Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, let's say, was then a free spirit. Haley hadn't fully made it onto his radar, at least publicly anyway. However, several other models did. Directly after his split from Selena Gomez in November of 2012, Justin Bieber was actually linked to Victoria's Secret model Miranda Kerr. I absolutely forgot about this, but he also performed at the Victoria's Secret fashion show that year and even was seen giving her a kiss on the cheek. Now, while Justin Bieber and Miranda Kerr never confirmed their relationship, confirmed they had a fling, I do want to mention that in 2014, Justin Bieber actually got into a fight with her ex, Orlando Bloom, and 
TMZ reported at the time that Justin quote said something to the effect of I had sex with your wife. Also another random tidbit for you guys while we're paused on this walk down memory lane, Selena Gomez also had a little fling with Orlando Bloom back in 2016. They were seen looking real cuddly and real smoochy at a club in Las Vegas. It's just truly wild to me how these three are always constantly connected. Anyway, back to our walk down memory lane. Also in November of 2012, after his fling with Miranda Kerr, Justin Bieber was also linked to model Barbara Palvin. Now after that, during the next couple of years, Justin Bieber went through what people call his bad boy phase. He was arrested in 2014. Like I previously mentioned, he was seen getting into some fights. He was just really going through it. And also him and Selena Gomez had a period of going on and off again during this time as well. Then fast forward to November of 2015, a video emerged of Justin Bieber serenading Selena Gomez in a hotel. This video was giving people major reconciliation vibes. However, those vibes quickly ended the following month when Justin Bieber started his back and forth effect between Selena Gomez and Haley. Because in December of 2015, just one month after that hotel, video, actually December 27th of 2015 to be exact, Haley Baldwin re-enters the picture as the next model that Justin Bieber has set his sights on. During this December 27th, 2015 date, Justin and Haley are seen in New York. They're seen going to dinner at Mr. Chow. Then after dinner, Haley is seen going to Justin's apartment. And the next morning, the two were seen at a local New York diner. Although that date absolutely gave off the vibe like a sleepover happened, Haley ended up tweeting and denying that a sleepover happened. However, However, I didn't buy it then and I'm still not buying it now because three days later, the two were spotted on vacation together. Again, just a reminder, this is December of 2015. Justin was pretty ballsy at this point in his life. He even posted photos of Haley on his Instagram and they were giving off all the couple vibes. And then by the following month, AKA January 2016, Justin went ahead and posted this photo of him and Haley making out. Oh, and also from that same trip, again in January of 2016, Justin also posted this photo where he was checking out Haley's, you know, Lights. Now, despite those photos that were giving us all the couple vibes, the following month in February of 2016, Haley actually told E! News that her and Justin were not exclusive. She said that relationships at their age were complicated, Justin was getting ready to go on tour, and that whatever was going on between them was between him and her. I will say Justin echoed that statement in an interview with GQ that happened around the same time. He said that Haley was someone he really loved, but that he didn't want to be held down by anything. Now, continuing our walk down memory lane, while Justin and Haley seemed amicable about whatever their relationship was. By August of 2016, had really hit the fan, excuse my French. Justin unfollowed Haley on Instagram, and then he went ahead and also posted those now notorious photos of him and Sophia Richie. Now as to why Justin Bieber unfollowed Haley, apparently he was upset because at the time, she was seen hanging out with Drake. At least that's what a source told People Magazine at the time. This People Magazine source said, quote, Justin unfollowed Haley on social media, and now all their friends are talking on Sophia Richie and him and how messed up it is. Now I do want to mention that I'm sure you guys saw these photos and I'm sure you remember these photos because Justin and Selena got into quite a tip in the comment section. But what I feel like people don't actually talk about enough is that Haley was also very upset by these photos. And it's again another example of how Justin Bieber often went between Selena and Haley in the past. Then after this incident with Sophia Richie, Justin and Haley Bieber had a very rocky friendship from 2016 to 2017. Haley is actually opened up about this rocky time in her and Justin's past. She commented about it during an interview with the Sunday Times saying, quote, we went through a long period of time when we weren't friends. We didn't speak for quite some time and there was a lot of weirdness that went on. Moving right along to our next stop along memory lane, that brings us to October of 2017 when Justin and Selena once again got back together. However, by December of that year, just a few months after Justin and Selena had reconciled, remember they actually started communicating again after Selena Gomez's kidney transplant, the two actually found themselves in couple therapy because of Haley. In December of 2017, TMZ reported that Justin and Selena were in couples therapy due to a conversation that Justin had had with Haley. He was reportedly trying to make amends with Haley and part of refinding his faith. And at the time, sources told TMZ that Selena Gomez was not happy about Justin Bieber reaching out to Haley, hence why they needed a third party, aka a therapist, to help them work it out. However, as we all know, couples therapy did not do wonders for Justin and Selena. By March of 2018, five months after they had gone together, Justin and Selena ended up breaking up for their last time. So therefore, three months later, what did Justin be 
Bieber do? He went back to Hailey Bieber in June of 2018. This time, Justin and Hailey were spotted out in Miami together and they were looking very coupley. At the time though, a source did try to tell E! News that nothing was going on as the source said, quote, they love to party and they love their church organization. They finally cleared the air and rekindled their friendship and realized they genuinely have a lot of fun together. However, that we're just friends excuse didn't last long because in the following weeks of June 2018, the two were seen all around New York doing all the couple things. They were seen getting coffee, locking lips, just again giving us all the couple vibes. And at that time, a source told us magazine, quote, Haley has always loved Justin and they have been best friends, so it's no surprise that they're hooking up again. However, they absolutely were not just hooking up because by July of 2018, aka just one month after they reconciled, the two got engaged in the Bahamas. It's worth noting that the quickness of their relationship and the closeness of their relationship to Justin and Selena breaking up their last time has obviously caused people to question in the past whether Justin had a little overlap with Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber. However, this is something that Hailey has addressed and denied. She actually addressed this during an interview on Ashley Graham's podcast and Hailey said, quote, people don't know too, we had been talking for a while before we got back together. Contrary to popular belief, he had been single for a while and I had been single and we were kind of just trying to figure life out. So again, while I know this walk down memory lane might be bringing up some fishy scents while you're watching this video, Hailey has denied that there was any overlap between her and Selena Gomez when her and Justin started dating. Continuing down our walk down memory lane, by September of 2018, Justin and Hailey surprised everyone when they went to a New York courthouse and got married with no prenup. While there was speculation for several days on whether they actually tied the knot or whether they didn't tie the knot, eventually it was confirmed that Justin and Hailey did get married that day in September 2018 in the New York courthouse. And also it's worth mentioning that Hailey's uncle Alec Baldwin did confirm this news to Us magazine. Now in Justin and Hailey's first year of marriage between 2018 and 2019, they did a lot. They took an infamous trip to London where Justin was seen serenading Hailey on the street. They bought a house and they postponed their religious ceremony for family and friends three times. There of course was also lots of drama between Justin and Hailey Bieber and Jelena fans and that I imagine did not make their first year of marriage any easier. I mean, hello, we all remember Justin Bieber's interview with GQ where he said that the first year of marriage was tough, but he chalked it up to having to deal with their past trauma as opposed to having to deal with drama online. However, I will say Hailey did address the drama that she was experiencing online during an interview with Elle Magazine at that time and she said that she had to remind herself that her and Justin were the only ones in their relationship. Now that brings us towards the end End of our walk down memory lane, September of 2019, one year after Justin and Haley tied the knot during their New York courthouse ceremony, the two went down to South Carolina and actually had that religious ceremony in front of all of their friends and family. It was a star studded event. I still stand by that I didn't love Haley's veil, but I did love her dress. And honestly, based on the pictures, it did look like a really fun wedding weekend. Now, of course, between September 2019 and present day, Justin and Haley have had their fair share of drama. They've had continued run-ins with Jelena fans. They've gotten messy when it comes to Selena Gomez on social media, but they've always maintained their marriage and they've always maintained that they're very happy with one another. Both Justin and Haley constantly talk about their love for one another on Instagram and in interviews. And honestly, that third party who was such an integral part in their relationship past, AKA Selena Gomez has moved on. She is happy to be done with the situation. And in the words of Selena Gomez, she dodged a bullet anyway. So yeah, that brings us very dramatic walk down memory lane with the Bieber's to the end. And now I want to hear what you guys thought about this deep dive into Justin and Hailey Bieber's relationship past. Let out all your thoughts and feels down below. Also, if something was brought up in this video that you forgot happened because that happened to me, let me know what moment that was for you down below. For more content, make sure you guys give me a follow over on my Instagram and my TikTok. Of course, don't forget to keep checking my channel for my YouTube shorts. And don't forget to check out my merch store at houseofhill.com. The last thing I want to tell you guys is that I am technically on vacation this week, but I've told you this before before. I get extreme separation anxiety from you guys, but I've definitely prepared videos for you this week. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to do my best to steer clear from my computer and actually be present in family time. We're meeting up with some of our extended family that we haven't gotten to see in a really long time. However, I did want to let you guys know what's going on because A, I tell you everything and B, if something major does happen and I don't report on it right away or it waits until next week, that's why that's what's happening. I of course will still have my phone. I'll still be posting on social media, Instagram, TikTok, probably my YouTube shorts as well. So I'll definitely still be on my phone, but I also wanted to let you guys know that there is content coming for you this week and please watch it and please support it because I worked really hard to get these videos ready for you guys. We got a cheaper cheers, a fun shopping haul. So just definitely tune into my channel.
channel. Make sure the notification bell is on. And I hope you guys enjoy the content I've prepared for you this week. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you. I know I took up a lot of your time with this video, but I just want to tell you guys I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys next time.